Hello YouTube, this is John. In this video, I'm going to quickly show you how to boot your RM education laptop. In your case, I have issues with this laptop. Whenever I try to go to the BIOS password, it comes in. So the BIOS setup, I cannot access the boot menu. So what we have here, we're going to power on the PC and show you that we have a BIOS password here that keeps on popping out whenever I try to go to the boot menu. Uh, that's the password. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to go ahead and run a server community software so that I have the Windows files deployed on the server. So the server has started and it is configured in the way that I can share Windows files. So what I'm going to do here in order to boot files, I have my Ethernet cable here, connect to the laptop. So you have to make sure the cable is connected very well. And then I'm going to click con Alt, Control Alt Delete, and restart the PC. Then I'll click F12, and then to take me to the DHCP server, and F12. Then our server will start, as you can see. So you wait for it, and then to pop up and to bring you to this point. In your case, if you have the Windows files in your server, you can select. So in my case, I'm going to use Windows uh, 10 and then to start loading. So we have an hardware issue. So this won't work. So I'm going to go ahead and reboot again. I'm going to go ahead and reboot again. Let's go ahead. Then we're going to try Windows Embedded. So the server will start again. I'm going to go with this option. Then to load the Windows files. So we, if the Windows 10 doesn't work, you go and and to the lower version. So I've gone to Windows 8.1, and the server here is still running. And can also boot very many PCs over a network. So in my case, I have two computers connected. So it's going to go ahead and ask for a password and username. <clears throat> Actually, do not ask for the password on this site. So let's wait. It says Windows 10. Let's see. So it has come to the password part. I was correct. So I'm going to wait for the network to load the resources, network resources, as you can see here. Then it has said OK. Then I'm going to type in the username. And my PC happened to be Dell and with the username Dell. So I'm going to go ahead and input the password. So and then you click enter. So when the, the password is correct, it will load the Windows files and then you'll be good to go. And this is how you can uh, how you can boot Windows via the Ethernet cable. So I'm going to click install. And then you start your normal Windows file installations. And in our case, you are not using a USB flash or anything or CD-ROM. In our case, we are booting from a network. And the Windows files will load and go and continue with the process. So thanks for watching. If this video is helpful, please subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to click the bell icon or that get notified whenever I upload a full video like this. Have a nice time. Goodbye.